So I streamed VR chat yesterday. It's a place where people like cuddle, um, like meet friends and have ERP full on relationships. Uh, it's, they, they like have sex and pet each other. I'll add a little clip from last night after this. What is, uh, what is, have over your... what is black cat? Black cat? Mm-hmm. You don't know what his black cat is? Oh, is that the... I just go to places where there aren't many loud people. Mm. This is scary. Aww. 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 <laughs> you good? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? God, that was a little bit unexpected. But, you know, I, uh... I learned a lot. I've interviewed a lot of people. For one, all the girls talk sensually as fuck. I mean, if they are girls, they're like, Hey, darling, like, I'm having a very serious conversation. My love, would you mind vacating the area? Like, like, they, like, like shit like that. Um, all the girls are like, mm, come over here so I can pet you. They'll, like, whisper in your ears and shit. Um... You know, I'm pretty sure the first one wanted to fuck me low-key. She, she kept laughing at all my jokes and shit, but, like, you know, I have a girlfriend. You know, I'm not getting tempted by a VR avatar, you know, probably piloted by a blue hair, you know, 170-pound woman. But, you know, or, yeah, either way, um, I had, you know, uh, it was very, very interesting. And if you were on stream last night, you, uh, like... I got, I played into it a little bit, and I got deep with the first girl, and she was telling me, like, real-life traumas about how she gets, like, groped all the time, you know, and how, uh, you know, she got emotionally and physically abused by a person she knew in real life and on VR chat, um, and I learned a lot about this thing called ERP, Phantom Touch, um, the, apparently there's, uh, VR prostitution rings and strip clubs where you pay real money, you know, to get e-sucked and shit. Um, and it's very real to these people. And they, and apparently you can get groped and, like, sexually assaulted and, uh, because there's this thing called phantom touch. Where if someone touches you while you're in VR, it's as though you actually feel it yourself getting touched and you can get full-on phantom rates in VR. Um... So it was a really interesting stream last night. Uh, I kind of want to dive into it a bit more because these these are some of the most unique, like like ah, just really tucked away corner of like video gaming and the internet that I just kind of want to explore a little bit. You know, I want to see how how deep the rabbit hole goes. You know, and try and avoid the pedophiles. Um, like the, that, I don't want to explore that part. It's just everything else because apparently there's like a lot of fucking predators on that on that game so we're just gonna try and avoid them but um yeah there's full-on relationships where you basically have this like vibrator or like a, a dick sucking machine right and like you're you can give the controller to someone in vr and it actually works in real life so like if they're e-sucking you right and that you put the vr pocket pussy on your penis um, it'll suck you off at the same speed that they are, so it's like they're sucking you off. And you can get full body tracking to where you can feel touch and shit like that. Um, so, this seems like a really crazy thing to go down. I mean, it just, it's a whole thing and there's so much I don't know about it. And, um, I kind of want to do like this, like, documentary where I just find the most sick twisted parts of VR chat because I know they exist. Um, I was talking to some, some furries. Uh, I was talking to some furries. Uh, I was talking to this girl for a while who was telling me about how there's cults and like weird shit. And like, so there's also bars where people drink in real life and then go into the VR bar and like socialize as if it was a real bar. Um, I was kind of shitting on it last night, but a lot of the girls were telling me they like to do it because they get groped in real life. And then one guy said um, he like he likes going to the VR bar instead of the real bar because uh, he gets racist when he's drunk and doesn't want to um, get into fights in real life. So <clears throat> there's like, I guess that could be like a thing for you. So part of me... <clears throat> right a vr is so expensive right and i'm the old one i have a super old one part of me wants to literally because i have a little bit of money and savings go to 
to GameStop today, before today's stream, buy a VR headset and get e-sucked. You know what I'm saying? On on stream. On stream, in-game. 